okay guys in this simulation i will explain a bit about the photodiode and how we can use it inside our tinkercad simulations so first you need to take the photodiode so on the left side in the search box just write the photo diode and here you can see that so we we will drag it out like this okay now one thing more that there is a bit difference between LDR and photodiode when light used to be incident on the LDR it changes its resistance but I think that it is not going to produce any sort of voltages on its both ends but if photodiode is concerned when light is being dropped on it it there is some sort of potential difference production on its both ends that is cathode and the anode so in order to measure that potential difference or voltage we will take multimeter like this and here we will connect the negative prod of the multimeter with the negative terminal of the photodiode and positive terminal with the positive terminal of the photodiode okay when we will run this simulation we will see that now when there is no light no potential difference or voltages are produced on the multimeter when we use to increase this light so you can see that now voltages are going to increase although it is in the range of millivolt because it can produce very minor voltages not very like uh, it is not going to produce a lot of voltages but just in the range of like uh, 500 millivolt or 400 millivolt so now we will going to increase then increase and more and here the last voltage is that this photodiode produced is 416 microvolt so now you can also decrease it down like this and like this and this and all this so hopefully now you can use this photodiode in your simulation so just try it in your tinkercad so thanks for watching